quick update before the review. We actually want to start owner's review, reviewing your own car on our channel. So we actually need your help. And we want to make this global tour, but why don't we start from Korea first. I'll leave my email below here, so let me know a little bit about your car and also let me know your contact number if you're interested. Okay guys, now let's get back to the review. Well, welcome to Asian Petrol. It is October 12th here in Korea. It's about 7 p.m. Today we have the 2021 Kia Seduna again. Last time we tried to give you a comparison review between 2021 Kia Seduna and 2020 Toyota Sienna. And but many of you, I think, wanted me to just drive heck out of this minivan. So we got it again uh, tomorrow. So we're gonna show you how fast she is, how she attacks corners, and also how efficient she is. And uh, meanwhile today, I just got it today, and I'm uh, just gonna give you a quick night drive. So we're gonna show you what it looks like at night from outside, show you the interior, and also go for a quick night drive. So before we begin, if you love cars and car reviews, please do support us by subscribing to our channel, and also hit that bell notification so you don't miss out in the future. Thank you guys and let's get started. Let me just show you the key, just like the recent Kia car keys. You can lock the car, open, hold for the trunk, hold for the panic, and you can start the car remotely like this. And if you have your smartphone phone app, you can always do that too. And uh, you can uh, you know, open the swing door one by one like this. Oh, that was the other side. <laughs> so let me show you this side one by one like this, but you know, let's say uh, you know you also wanna open everything, then um, you can just keep on pressing the unlock button, more than three seconds, and look, it's gonna open two swing doors and the trunk all at once. So I think that's very good uh, convenient way to enjoy your minivan. And um, I tried the lock button more than three seconds, and somehow, oh, it does too, okay. So, it does, okay, I lied, okay. So, let me just start showing you the car from the front. Let me just uh, turn on the DRL. It's like, it's only seven, but you know, it's autumn, close to winter, so it's, everything is getting dark already. Um, this, uh, it's got new hood line. Actually, uh, before we tell you anything, uh, this Carnival or Sedona, known as Carnival here in Korea, this Carnival is built up an all new platform. So it's a little bit longer, 1.5 inches longer with 1.2 inch longer wheelbase. Um, so okay, with that said, let me just show you the front design. It's got bold hood lines on the top, Kia logo in the middle. And this has a symphonic architecture grille. Uh, it's a new grille for this uh, all new Kia Sedona. It looks very active. They wanted, wanted to uh, express the, the rhythm. So let me know what you think about it. It also has a 360 camera up front. Uh, parking sensors, one, two, three, four on the top. Um, that's DRL. I really like what they have done with the new DRL. So you guys do let me know what you think about it. That's LED high beam, um, headlamp system, fog lamp we also have active uh, air curtains on each side um, so we also have this chrome line that stretches all the way the front covering the front really like it and it also has this uh, matching uh, lip on the bottom uh, radar sensor for the adaptive cruise control large openings on the bottom so yeah this is what it looks like so let me also put a B-roll showing you the headlamp system working. That's DRL, headlamp, high beam, turn signal, bifunctional, fog lamp, and that's what horn sounds like. Okay, so, yeah, people are just uh, walking. This is near the park, so. Yeah, let me also show you the engine room. Let me just uh, fire up. So. Okay, car. So, they're not giving us any shocks. You have to lift it up yourself. Uh, it's a little bit loud, right? Because uh, this actually 
has 2.2 liter diesel engine, uh, which makes about 202 horsepower, 325 pounds feet of torque. Engine is made it to uh, eight-speed automatic, and I uh, wish it came with all-wheel drive system, but only front-wheel driven. And here in Korea, you can also get it with 3.5 liter gasoline engine. So if you don't like, uh, you know, no easy loud things, um, you can also get it with uh, 3.5 liter V6. But I think. I'm going to show you how efficient she is tomorrow, but it's very, very efficient. Um, so when you close this, it, actually very quiet. And um, with the new platform, uh, they really got down the, you know, vibration. Uh, it's really nice, uh, a lot nicer compared to the last generation. Okay, so uh, I'm going to show you how it drives pretty soon. And uh, it's wearing a, you know, continental cross contact. It's wearing 235. 55 by 19 on front and back and um, yeah like last time I drove this car um, it brakes braked very nicely too okay so I'll show you everything tomorrow as well from the side uh, even from the front it looks more like an SUV uh, you know so some of you said it looks more like a SUV van I, I really agree um, but if you come to the side it sort of more looks like a more like a minivan um, it also has a larger window here it used to be quite small but this is a lot larger um, they also have a chrome strip on the bottom accents on the bottom and big old garnish on the side and as you can see it's got large large windows really large windows so uh, but uh, I wish uh, you know Sedona has them right below the window so it's not so visible so I really wish uh, Hyundai and Kia would hide this rail for the swing door so it wouldn't be so visible and uh, this uh, actually looks pretty good uh, I, I saw it uh, I saw the all new Kia Sedona with black trim with black trim this actually looks very nice um, so guys do let me know how do you like this garnish on the side but overall it's, it's a very nice looking car minivan I should say um, and even from the rear I think it looks very nice uh, it looks more futuristic um, I think so you guys do let me know what you think about it we have this uh, connected tail lamp sort of connected from here there and uh, this is LED combination tail lamp so I know many of you don't like to see the uh, the turn signal and backup lamp um, on the bottom but that's what Kia have been doing with lately and um, new uh, what do you call it skid pad and uh, oh right here you see that right there hidden type single exhaust so and obviously open the trunk so and here in Korea, you can get this with uh, either 7, 9, or 11 seats. And our tester came with 9 seats. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And it's got three more here. So it even has a you know, headrest. Uh, maybe you have a bomb here. No, it's just uh, for the tail, tailgate. So, so if I were you, I would probably get it with this 9 seats because you know can't forget about these three seats right because you need some space for the trunk so this nine seats will have six people comfortably sitting and um, we'll also have uh, some storage area here Let's see fix a flat kit I'm not breaking it just uh, showing you the car right <laughs> so you can put the seat belts like this so quite so it wouldn't be dangling around making all the noise that's quite nice. Uh, 12 volt charging and right there we have a fire extinguisher. Uh, some that's uh, some tools. So when you get a fair flat, right? Excuse me, car. <laughs> that's a no-go, guys. You can also put the seat belt back like that. Okay, okay. Um, so this is minivan. So let me just show you the second and third row seats. So, let me just turn off the car so it won't be 
burning all the diesel. So, so, so this is uh, partially a little bit to the front, and that's all the way. So I can show you the difference, right? Can press here. You guys don't know I'm about six two, right? Uh, this is about like two clicks um, forward, and uh, still very comfortable. Look at all the space for my feet, and you know, I, in the second row seat, my head does not even brush against the ceiling. Okay, and look, voila, we have a. I don't know if I should call this mood lamp. It's probably a mood lamp, right? Uh, doesn't change the color even of the front. Uh, we have it here for up to second row seats, okay? So let me just turn on the, the lights uh, because it's quite nicely done in here. Um, okay, we also have three stage heated and ventilation seats. Window comes down, not all the way, almost all the way. And we also have automatic windows. Look how large the window is, nice. We also have a big, large manual bus sunshade for the side. Really like these manual sunshades. Uh, we also have uh, air vents on the top, LED, everything LED. And you can also turn on the uh, climate control for the uh, rear passengers. And Kia also have added air conditioning filter for the rear occupants so everybody can stay fresh. We also have two large cup holders here. Uh, I think you can even put your phone there because we have two USB charging ports on the side. Walk-in device for lazy people like me. Two 12 volt charging that only charges up to your notebook, laptop, doesn't boil notice for you. 12 volt charging and a large center console. It's actually a double deck, so you can put lots of stuff for your kids. And uh, it's, it's almost flat, so it's very nice. I, lo I, I love this captain chairs on the Palisade and even on this. Uh, and I really hope uh, Hyundai will add um, you know, captain chairs on the Santa Fe as well. Uh, cup holders, water bottle holders on the bottom as well. And this actually has a dual sunroof. Um, my Hyundai Palisade only has a you know, glass on the top that does not open, but this one actually opens so your children can do this. <laughs> so dad, no, no. so he's gonna get pissed, right? So uh, this is what the car looks from the top. It actually has, you know, two sunroof on the top. I mean, if I was a kid, I would really love to have this car. Um, my parents right so so this is what it looks like uh this is all the way so i have very nice uh leg room and headroom it's very comfortable and let me also show you the uh third row seats so like i said just forget the uh fourth row and just use this okay so uh we also have somebody left something here a um, few cup holders and some storage area USB charging ports. We also have a uh, small shade, but that works very effectively. Uh, 12 sound system by Corel. Um, and really loving this uh, the seats. Uh, I think because uh, you guys don't know, I'm about 6'2". Uh, the, the headroom is a little bit limited, but legroom is okay. I think maybe because of the, uh, the sunroof. If, you, if I were you, I probably will get it with the sunroof, but uh, we have a you know small kid sitting back here. Um, I had no problem until second row seats, but you know for third row seats it's a little bit cramped. And uh, you know definitely very nice minivan that has a very good room for everyone. Um, so yeah, this is uh, very nice. Uh, you can definitely also use this uh, voice command uh, for the second row passengers. Let me just change it to Korean so I can show you something so okay so let me just show you a few tricks uh, so yeah I mean there's a button right here you can just press it and uh, 
it will understand the voice command even from the second row seats. 네, 말씀하세요. 창문 올려줘. 후석 창문을 닫습니다. So, yes, very nice. Uh, also have this handle so you can get out easily. You can pull this or you can just pull on the lever, okay? And uh, Carnival also has uh, this, uh, this doesn't show well, so let me go on to the other side. It's a little bit darker on this side, so when you open, it also leaves the, the watermark on the bottom. And I was trying looking, where the hell is the light coming from? And uh, not here, I thought it would be somewhere here, but they put this uh, on there, you see that? It's a very smart thing. Um, I think your kid's gonna really love it, okay? So let me also show you the car from the first row seats, okay? So, so this is what the car looks like from the front. Let me just close the window so mosquitoes won't kill me. So we're gonna talk about visibility when we go out to the road, but it actually uh, has a very nice, um, seats uh the seats i also want to talk about the seats um this has like a brown saddle brown i really like what they have done this is two tones so where you kick the most right right there right there even right there it's black even for the second row seats i really think that's a smart thing where you kick the most it's all black if they have it like brown all the way it's been dead right but uh i think they really nice color scheme going there and uh, just like the all new k5 or optima they use some sort of a fin thing you know jet pilot thing kind of going on even for this sedona so it looks pretty nice um mood lamp here let me i, I think you guys are curious so let me just uh show you the mood lamp it's i don't know if you can can call it a mood lamp yeah, yeah i guess because the color does not change but okay so let me just lights this is ambient lights uh it doesn't have any colors it just says brightness uh see right here one two three four let me just uh show you that one four three two one so it just goes away right so i think it's really good so that's one off. So I think it's really interesting what they have done. One, two, three, four. So it's, it's a very clever design, I think. Um, and we have a full automatic, full. So that's, that's pretty super nice. Can also uh, open the swing doors from here, the trunk. And you can, you know, if your kids are playing too much with the power door, you can turn it off. That's for the, the lights. You can adjust the lights up and down. Let's say you load a load up trunk too much and the, the front lifts, you can kind of adjust it. That's for lane keep assist and ESC off. You can do it two ways with all new Hyundai and Kia cars. Um, voice command mode. That's for volume and seek button, and it will also show you lots of information. I mean, I'm really impressed because, guess this is this is only only a minivan, right? And uh, they have used a 12.3 inch for the gauge cluster and 12.3 inch for the infotainment screen. So this is sort of like a panorama screen, and it's, I really cannot, you know. It's quite amazing what uh, Kia and Hyundai is giving us for the value for the money. I think it's really amazing. Um, we also have a you know, hazard button here, physical buttons and dials, but mainly these buttons, except these two dials and hazard button and start button, it's all, and also toggle button. Other than that, it's all touch sensitive. So guys, do let me know what you think about it in the comment section about Kia moving slowly away from the, uh, the physical buttons. And as you can see, it's, this all 
All this part is made of high black glossy material. So let me just uh, high black glossy material. I think it's too much, but you know, up to here, I, I think up to here would be okay because you know it wouldn't scratch so much. But right here, this part, I'm really a little bit worried. So I hope you're not throwing your keys and stuff like that because it will get scratched very easily. So put your coins here keys here not there okay so we also have a you know two usb charging ports and that's that's for the apple carplay and uh, voila wireless charging pad and you can certainly lock everything and if you leave your phone there and open the door it says device in wireless charger so that's pretty good um it will even say it in Korean if it was in Korean. Um, auto hold, dry mode selector. I'm really liking the um, the two screens. It feels like an iPad, uh, you know. So solid system. Um, electric parking. So, nice. Um, what else did I not tell you? Okay, I wanted to show you something cool too because this is minivan, right? Like I told you this passenger talk. You can can you hear that? You can talk to the speaker through there. You can talk to rear occupants. Uh, so if your children just playing crazy, you can be quiet. <laughs> okay, so that's that's what it is. Um, we also have uh, Sound of Nature. Uh, I showed you several times. If you have nothing else to listen to, you can listen to this with 12 sound system by Cross. Actually a very nice system. I think your whole family will be very satisfied. Um, you can also pair two phone uh, devices to this, so you guys don't have to fight. Built-in camera, um, we have a two-channel camera that records everything, so uh, somebody was there, uh, okay. So if you get into accident, you can you know, show it to the police, okay. And quiet mode, what happens is, let's say you're listening to radio like this. And when you press this quiet mode, it automatically changes the volume to seven and um, turn off the, all the speakers at the bottom, except the ones on the front. So if you're a driver, you know, good luck. You're on your own. <laughs> Everybody's sleeping and you're on your own. So poor guys, right? So it could be poor mom too. And um, what else not tell you? Let me just show you here. We have three stage heated and ventilation seats, uh, heated steering wheel, uh, parking sensor off. Um, yeah, great looking camera. It's it's good. It's it's too dark here, but you can zoom in and out. So you can also adjust uh, you know, brightness, contrast, and everything. So so pretty good. So what did I not tell you? Um, large uh, glow box. And we also have this uh, very good looking air vent design. This sort of uh, reminds me of air vent design from Genesis GV80. So overall, I think they really made the car look very nice. Very low cow and everything looks, just gives you a very good um, visibility uh, we also have a water bottle holder on the bottom so yeah so let me just show you the apple carplay and go out to the road and drive this car so for the apple carplay you have to use the non fast charging port okay it's just reading USB yeah why not so I have a couple of... No, I have a couple of... Right there. Oh. Doesn't give you full screen now. Hmm. One of the uh, our viewers said I can make this um, large, but I don't know how to do that. But uh, definitely works fine right here. It's, everything is in Korean, so I'm sorry, but... Hmm. Let me try to go to display maybe. Is that what it is? 
reset to factory see what happens see it still doesn't do that so maybe i could be wrong so if you know how to do it so let me know in the comment section okay now let's go out to the road with all new 2021 kia sedona okay let's just put it everything here okay so let's turn off the lights so oh. So if you don't wear your seat belt, it says to release electric parking brake, fasten seat belt and close all the door and tailgate. So thank you, Kia. I think that's a very smart system. Um, so the headlamp system is really bright. Um, you know, some people ask me about the Elantra. This is a lot brighter. So that's high beam fog lamp. So it's really bright. All right, guys, uh, now let's go out and drive this car. Let me just pay and see you guys soon, okay? All right guys, on the road with 2021 Kia Sedona with 2.2 liter diesel. Let's start with visibility. Visibility, just like I told you, it's very good. Uh, low cal, large windows everywhere. So it's very pleasant to be driving this car. Although this is quite large minivan, you know, it doesn't feel that hard um, to be driving. We also have blind spot monitoring system and also alert system that will help you during your lane changes. So it's very, very, nice and easy to drive and uh, so when you do come to a full stop although this is a diesel we have auto start and stop so you can enjoy the silence it's a very nice place to be um, but when the engine kicks in you can definitely feel noise and vibration coming from the diesel so but really liking the two large screens up front it's it's very easy on your eyes and great graphics uh, yeah to me it seems like you know hyundai and kia are leading the design interior design lately um you know even compared to japanese cars uh even compared to american cars i think they're very good at making drawing good interior space so guys do let me know how do you like the uh, your interior space of the Hyundai and recent Kia cars and this moon lamp is doesn't change color I wish it changed colors but except that it's very nice easy on your eyes and quite nice so like I told you this all new Kia Sedona is built up on all new platform and uh, I can certainly feel less vibration and you know it's a lot quieter compared to the last generation so even this has a diesel but uh you know if you don't mind diesel uh, i think this is very nice uh choice for you um even right we have a full tank right it says uh we can drive up to 913 kilometers um with a full tank so should be very quiet nice and um this does not have head-up display but it will give you guidance right here on the screen as well so it's pretty good i don't know if you're gonna need head-up display um, because we you have a large 12.3 inch gauge cluster uh, so yeah i mean it's also saying you know the speed limit on the left so it's a very nice screen we also have air cleaning mode so you can stay fresh we also have two memory seats okay now let's drive this car pause navigation volume low because you're gonna get a little bit fast okay so right now we're driving in normal mode let's just leave it in normal mode uh, when you put it onto eco mode the uh, gas pedal becomes numb so actually uh, trying to save fuel so in sport mode uh, there isn't any sound generator but uh, I can certainly feel the difference between normal and eco, but 
not between normal and sports. So let's just put it into sports and drive. Two hundred two horsepower and three hundred twenty-five pound-feet of torque. It feels pretty good. I mean, it's not really punchy, but it will give you nice pull. Very linear. So let me just uh, try one more time. Sports. Full throttle. Yes, there's a turbo lag, um, this is diesel, but once it starts picking up the speed, it's very nice. I mean, it feels very stable for a tall minivan. Wow, I'm very impressed. <laughs> wow. Brakes, yeah. Brakes are effective, but it feels very heavy. This overall minivan feels heavy, so yeah, I don't think you need. You should be going really fast with this um, minivan. And we also have eight-speed automatic. I uh, made it to eight-speed automatic, so let me just show you. That's six, five, four, three, four. Five, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's it's very smooth shifting. Uh, I think the main number one main goal was to be smooth, and but it's not that bad. I think it's it's that diesel that's making the fuel a little bit slow, but. Overall, for a minivan, you know, I think it's very nice enough. Um, what about the ride? Uh, I, I, I wouldn't say this is floaty um, because when you do go, when you're driving fast and when you go over bumps, it's it can feel a bit harsh. So. But, uh, you know, it's, it holds the car very... Um, so see, it can be a little bit bumpy time to time. So I would say it's somewhere between, um, you know, sporty and relaxed. Uh, they try to find a good combination because this is, you know, after all, a minivan. But it feels very comfortable on the driver's seat. So. So what about the steering wheel? Well, felt uh, very light on parking lots and slow speed, but when you're going fast on highway, it feels very stable and quite heavy as well. So it's it's a nice system. I like the size of the steering wheel. Uh, you know, not so big for a minivan. I kind of like that too. So it's a nice system. I really look forward to be showing you how this car, how this all new Kia Sedona handles because last generation handled very, very nicely stable, right? too. So I'm really looking forward <laughs> to be surprising. driving this and showing you how this Kia Sedona handles in the tax corners tomorrow. So um, stay tuned because I'm going to show you the B-rolls right now. Um, but uh, yeah, so we're going to also show you how efficient this 2.2 liter diesel is. And this 2.2 liter diesel has been used on many cars and SUVs from Hyundai, such as Santa Fe and Sorento. So it should also be efficient. And I'm really loving how nicely Kia this time, they really got the vibration and noise really down uh, compared to the last generation. So let me just... Uh... Wow, you can also peel out. Look. <laughs> okay, so let's not freak everybody so okay full throttle you see it doesn't sound like a bad diesel sounds pretty clean oh that was the uh so good brakes good brakes so that's the last generation 
Kia Carnival or Sedona here in Korea. So many carnivals here. So do let me know if you have a Sedona um, in your household or how the carnival is perceived in your country, okay? So, okay, now we're driving on the average speed zone. So let me just show you adaptive cruise control working with lane keep assist. As you can see, it's a very delicate system placing the car right on the center. And even if I set the speed up to like 90, it only goes to 70 because it knows that uh, this is average speed zone. Um, so we also have a camera detector right up there and it's a very delicate system just placing the car right on the center. So it's a very nice system and it's gonna like after 10 seconds it's gonna say keep your hands on the steering wheel. If you do ignore it, let's say what happens. Let's ignore it for a second because we have quite time. It's gonna get louder. It's gonna get louder, guys. <laughs> but meanwhile, it's working perfectly, right? But just alerting the driver. Come on, wake up. Put your hands back on the steering wheel. And after that, it says HDA system, highway driving assistance system disabled. So you should always keep your hands on the steering wheel. This is only driving aid, uh, supposed to be just helping you, okay? So let me just, uh, okay, let me just turn it off and show you lane keep assist working, okay? So we don't have any adaptive cruise control working. Let's, let me just push the car to the left. So, do you see that? Just pushing the car gently right to the center. Let's try one more time to the right. Ooh, did you see that? Left? Okay, I went too far. Okay. Oh, 괜찮습니다. 네네. Okay, so. Did you just see that uh, when uh, when you do not have your hands on the steering wheel, somebody will actually call you <laughs> and to make sure it's it's in the Wuvo system. I'm gonna say like, are you okay? Uh, I detected uh, you not putting your hands on the steering wheel, so someone will actually call you from call center. So that's actually pretty good. I'm surprised. So. So let's just put the car into normal mode and just let you hear the engine one more time. Full throttle. So we're still in average speed zone. Oh gosh, come on. This is no fun. They just have added this uh, speed zone last week. So I can only show you going fast one way. So let me just let you hear the uh, 12 sound system by Corral, okay? This sounds pretty good. You like classic? Ooh. Wow, you got it. So guys, do let me know how do you like the uh, 12 sound system by Corral. Uh, we're just stuck here because I cannot go fast. Okay, so let me just let you hear the diesel engine one more time. Last time. I think it's going to handle pretty nice tomorrow because look. ABS coming on and everything. So it feels quite nice and um, yeah, meanwhile, um, let me just show you adaptive cruise control working with nice, so.
this has a full stop and go functionality so if the lead car departs within five seconds it will follow automatically if it exceeds five seconds it will require you to uh, use the accelerator or use the switch here but if it says HCA you don't have to do that because you're on highway but we're at the highway end of the highway okay so all right guys so this has been our quick night drive with all new 2021 Kia Sedona hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll be back with more car reviews so before you leave if you love cars and car reviews please do support us by subscribing to our channel and also hit that bell notification so you don't miss out in the future thank you guys stay healthy see you soon and bye bye thank you guys stay tuned drive with all new 2021 Hyundai Santa Fe uh, all new 2021 Kia Sedona no.